Next, let us learn about AND and OR statements. Let us create a class called example AND and OR. Imagine I have two numbers, integer x, integer y. I can declare two variables like this and then I can assign numbers to x equal to 10. Now, imagine I want to check if both these numbers are positive numbers. That is, x and y are positive numbers. The way to do it is, if x greater than 0 and y greater than 0. Curly brace and close curly brace. So the way you read it is, x greater than 0, if x greater than 0, and these two ampersand signed, is referred to as AND. If x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0, then print both numbers are positive. Else, if, check if at least one of them is positive number. That is, if x is greater than 0 or y is greater than 0. The way to write it is, the OR symbol is the two pipe symbol. You can find this pipe symbol right above your enter key. You have to press the shift and the key above your enter key. So you read this as else if x is greater than 0 or y is greater than 0. At least one number is positive. Else, well I don't have to check if both of them are not greater than 0 and at least one of them is not greater than 0. That means both must be less than 0. That is both numbers are negative. So let's save it, control S and run it. Right click run as Java application. So here you can see that at least one num is positive is printed because x is 10 and it is a positive number. So this is the AND and OR statement. Now this will work even if you have like a single ampersand and a single pipe symbol. This will work the same. So what is the difference between this single ampersand and, one, and double ampersand is? This double ampersand is called a short AND. Now what is a short AND is, imagine I have x as minus 10 and y as positive 10. Now it will come here and it will check if x is greater than 0. Well, is x greater than 0? No, it is not greater than 0. So what happens is this, if this condition fails, a short AND will not even bother to look at the other condition because both the condition must be true for AND to work. AND is this x must be greater than 0 and y must be greater than 0. But if you have like 2 ampersand sign, it will know that it is useless to go look here at this particular uh, condition here. The reason is, well, x fails so it doesn't matter if y is positive or not. If you have like 1 ampersand symbol, what happens is, it will check if x greater than 0, well no it is not greater than 0, but even then it will go and check if y is greater than 0. You may be wondering then why use the single ampersand at all. Well the single ampersand is used for bit operations which I think you can read up on your own at a later stage.